One of the oldest central shopping streets in Chongqing with a history dating back more than 1,000 years, once a center of commerce and porcelain, Longyin Town has a special place in Chongqing's heart, but you may know it by a different name, Sichiko. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chongqing Travel Guide. On this show, we take you around the beautiful and exciting city of Chongqing, showing you the most interesting scenic spots, the most delicious food, and the most photogenic scenic spots. My name is Mikkel. I'm Xiao. Today we are going to take on a tour that goes back centuries to one of Chongqing's oldest commercial streets, formerly a busy port town. A thousand years after its foundation, today it still remains one of the most symbolic places in Chongqing. Zijiko is rich in culture and is also the site of the Baolun Temple, one of the oldest temples in Chongqing. Travelers and locals alike often flock to Zijiko's steep and narrow pedestrian streets, where you can buy traditional porcelain, snacks, and handicraft, and the style of the old street is a strong contrast to the otherwise very modern city of Chongqing. Before we start our tour to Sichiko, let us know in the comments down below if you are a fan of old traditional Chinese architecture or if you're more attracted to the new modern skyscrapers and consider to subscribe to our channel if you aren't already to see many more videos about Chongqing just like this one. The history of Sichiko ancient town can be traced back to 998 AD, that is Song Dynasty. According to the legend, the town used to be called Longying Town, which literally means hidden dragon town. The ancient town is right next to what used to be the port. Gradually, the town became a prosperous commercial port, and a great variety of business started to flourish in this area. Around 300 years ago, during the Huguang repopulation of Sichuan migration movement, migrants from Fujian introduced porcelain to the ancient town. Since then, porcelain businesses have flourished in this old city. With the convenience of the transportation port and dynamic businesses in the area, Sejiko ancient town enjoyed a great prosperity throughout its history. During the Second World War, when Chongqing served as China's temporary capital, many government agencies and institutions of higher learning moved to Sejiko, enabling the area to maintain and even develop its culture, history and commerce and transportation into an all-time high. As the road and the rail transportation gradually took over the river one, Sichiko ancient town experienced a period of economic downturn, but the ancient landscape got well preserved. Today, Sichiko ancient town saw its great prosperity again as one of the top tourist destinations in Chongqing, where visitors get a chance to see hundreds of years old China's ancient residential and business blocks, visit the site of famous figures, taste local snacks, and buy souvenirs. On the surface, Sichuko just looks like another old Chinese shopping street. However, you will find the historical courtyard and also the 1500-year-old temple and even a hidden traditional Chinese school in the alley. Baolun Temple Situated at the top of a hill in the middle of the ancient town dates back more than 1500 years and is the oldest part of the ancient town. The legend goes that the emperor from Ming Dynasty was forced to live here, seeking refuge because his uncle assumed power from him. The temple was also known as Longying Temple because of hiding the dragon. You can visit the temple in Sichiko, and we will cover the temple in more details in a future travel guide episode. Zhong's courtyard was built around 1890. The owner is Mr. Zhong, who grew up in Sichiko. The entire courtyard has both the charm of the northern courtyard and the exquisite and elegant characteristics of the southern houses. Ancient cultural relics of the Ming and Qing dynasties displayed in the courtyard such as porcelain, beds, and traditional round table, and other traditional household items. Hanning Academy is the only ancient private school preserved in Chongqing downtown. During Qing Dynasty, the school won its popularity as several students from the school became important officials. The ancient private school site has been well kept, 
and now the yard in the side has served as a traditional tea house. Undoubtedly one of the most well-known parts of Sejiko is the pedestrian street that I'm standing on now that runs from one end all the way down to the other, from the middle of the city down towards the river. On this street you can experience lots of different kinds of food, snacks, traditional Chinese tea, and even traditional Chinese opera performances. The Sijiko pedestrian street is actually one of the main attractions of itself. The old road has retained much of its original layout and will take you from one end of Sijiko Old Town to the other without having to make too many turns. Along the street you will be able to find cafes, bars, restaurants, snack stores, as well as shops for traditional Chinese clothing and lots of building of traditional Chinese architecture. Another thing that has made Sechiko famous especially among the younger population are the many cafes and bars. Many of the cafes have very nice decorated interiors and they are scattered along the main street in Sechiko. Some of the bars are located on the ground floor and some of them are located on the second floors. All of them are open throughout the day and especially during the evening. But perhaps one of the favorite things to do in Sichiko is to enjoy many of the local snacks. Many of the stalls along the street are selling different kinds of food, everything from barbecued meat to fruit and vegetables that you can get in a variety of different ways, and of course, lots and lots of snacks. And that is it for our trip to the ancient town of Sichiko. If you liked this video, please hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel for more tips on what to do and what to see in Chongqing. There are more videos to come and much more of Chongqing to explore and let us know in the comments down below whether you are a fan of the older traditional style of Chinese buildings or the new more modern skyscrapers. We will see you soon and until then, take care.